Hi everyone, Mrs. Miles here this morning. I look quite Christmassy. What do I look like today? I've got an elf jumper on today. So it's getting much closer to Christmas, so I thought I would look a bit Christmassy this morning. I hope that you're all okay. It is, oh, what day is it today? Shall we sing our days of the week song? Are you ready? How many fingers do we need? Seven fingers. Are we ready? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, each day different and every day new. Now it's a bit tricky because we've not been at school, so we've got to try to think of what day it might be today. It's not Monday, it's not Tuesday, but it is Monday, Tuesday, it's Wednesday today, Wednesday the 16th of December. I haven't got my number 16 up here. Can you remember what this number is? It's our number of the week. 14. The next number, oh, fallen down, the next number would be 15 and the next number after that would be 16. So because it's the 16th today, let's count up to 16 and we'll do our claps and pats. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It is the 16th of December. Let's go backwards from 16 all the way to zero. Are we ready? So we'll start at number 16. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So we've gone all the way from 16 all the way to zero. Brilliant counting today. Okay, yesterday we did some adding, some addition, where we found the total of when we put two groups together. We had a part, a part and a whole and we found the total. Today we're going to be doing taking away. Subtraction, it's a funny word that isn't it? So we're going to be taking away that means that the total that you're left with is going to be less, a smaller amount than what you started with. So that's what take away means. So you have a group of things and then you take away and you're left with a smaller amount. But you still have to find out what that amount is. And how do we find out what, what an amount is? By counting, that's right. Okay, I've got my dice again. All right, so we're going to just use the dice to, to find out how many we're going to take away. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to put out my objects. Can you see? So I would like you to get one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, I'll have to squash them on, nine, and one more would be, one more than nine would be, ten. So we're going to have ten. Okay, so what I want you to do is pause the video, and then I want you to go and get ten objects, anything that you can find in your house like you normally do. Now, can you see my ten? I've used our animals again. Okay, so go and get ten, pause the video. Have you got 10? Fabulous. Let's have a look at our 10 Numicon. There it is. There's our 10 Numicon. That's what number 10 looks like. Let's count the holes just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's our Numicon 10. So that's what 10 in objects looks like. That's what 10 in the Numicon looks like. And if I wrote 10, because we're going to be having a go at writing our number sentence today, if I write 10, 
It looks like that. Ten. One ten and zero, waiting for something to sit on it there. Ten. Okay. So you've got your 10 objects. What we're going to do now is I'm going to roll the dice. Don't worry if you haven't got a dice, like yesterday, you can play along with me. If you have got a dice, then after this video, you can have a go too. Are we ready? I'm gonna roll my dice on here. I'm hoping it stays on here and doesn't fall off or knock any of our animals. Okay. What number has it landed on? So the times, remember, look at the amount and then say it. That's right, four. Let's count. One, two, three, four. What does that mean? What do we need to do? I've got my 10 objects here and I've rolled a number four. So what do I need to do now? That's right, I need to take four away. Okay, so you're going to count with me and take four of your objects away. You need to move them well away from your line of objects. One, two, three, four. And pop them to one side. Four. So I've taken my four away. What do I need to do now? That's right. I need to find out how many I've got left. The total. Remember, it's a smaller amount than you started with. So you started with ten. And you took away, now I'm going to show you, i rub that off, what the take away looks like when we write it as a sign. There's our number 10, and it's just a line. We took, that means take away. We took away, how many? Four. We took away four, okay. Can you see? So let's count and find our total. Are we ready? Touch each one as you say the number. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our total all together is six. That's right. And do you remember that funny word that we used yesterday? Equals. The two lines, we're going to use that again. Whoops. We're going to use that again. Ten. Take away four equals, how many did we have? Let's check again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, take away four equals six. Okay, if you can have a go at writing that number sentence, that's fine. If you can't, don't worry, just practice doing this lots and lots of times. All right, let's have another go. How many objects do I need to start with? That's 10, so I've got my, I've got six here, so I don't need to start counting again, because I know I've got six here, okay? So I'm going to carry on my counting from six until I get to 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There's my 10 animals, my 10 objects to count. I'm going to roll the dice again and we're going to see how many we want to take away this time. Okay, I'm going to roll it on here, see if it... This time we're taking away... Supper ties, what's that number there? Six, that's right, we're taking away six. Let's count to check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've started with how many? 10. There's my 10 Numicon. Can you see? There's my 10 Numicon. We've started with 10. And we are taking away how many? Can you remember? Let me find how many we're taking away. Okay, we're taking away... Six. That's right. Mrs. Miles was trying to find it in the new and I can't seem to find it where... Never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got... We started with ten and we're going to take away six. Let me write that down in our number sentence for you. We start with ten. 
and we take away. Do you remember that number sentence, that symbol, that sign? Take away, how many? That's right, six. 10, take away six, makes, leaves us with, equals. So what do I need to do? That's right, I need to take away six. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm left with these objects here. So how do I find out the total? How do I find out how many I've left? We have to count them, that's right. So let's count them together. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. We're left with four. We started with 10, we took away six, and now we're left with one, two, three, four. That's right, so when I write it down, I'm going to write the number four on there. Can you see? 10, take away six, equals four. 10, take away six, leaves us with four. Remember, when you're taking away, the amount that you're left with is smaller than the amount that you started with, okay? You could have more than 10 to start with, or you might want to start with less than 10, okay? It's up to you. Have a practice of having an amount and taking some away. And then make sure you're counting really accurately. That means that you touch and say the number when you're finding out how many you've got left. Okay, so when we just touch the object once and say the number, that means we're counting accurately. You might want to move them, it makes it a bit easier. One, two, three, and four. So that's accurately counting. Okay, so after this video is finished, you could have a go at doing some yourself. If you want to pop your pictures on Dojo or a video or whatever or, or whatever you've done, you can pop it onto Dojo so that I can have a look. All right, everybody, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.